Hi students, in this class we will going to discuss about management process. There are twin purpose of management. So the one is the maximum productivity or profitability and second one maximum human welfare and satisfaction. So here they are given five management process. So one is the coordination, second one process and third one purpose of process and fourth one social process and fifth one cyclical process so first one management is a coordination so manager of organization or any enterprises <coughs> should know how to coordinate all activity and resources using the four m's of the management actually yesterday we discussed five m's of the management in your book they given only four m's of the management that is a man, mission, material and money. So using that manager should know how to coordinate all activity and resources. That is a management is coordination. And next point, management is a process. The manager achieves proper coordination of resources through a managerial function. This is a managerial function, planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling. So through a managerial function, manager achieve a proper coordination of resources. That is a management is a process. And next point, management is a purposive process. According to this, every management or organization should have predetermined goal and objective so without goal or objective they could not reach their destination so according to this all organization should have a goals and objectives and social process it is the art of getting things done through people that is a social process and next one cyclical process means it will be start from again actually management plan action control and again it will start with the replanning cycle so again it started no so it's called a yeah, management is a yeah, cyclical process so this picture is already given in your book according to this big book so here they given four m's this is a yeah, input this is the input of a yeah, management so the manager coordinate this input and process through the managerial function. These are the managerial function, planning, organizing, directing and controlling and the last ones, staffing. So through that process the and achieve their goals. Already told you know, so every management should have a predetermined goal and objectives. So this is the process of the management. So now let us understand what is principles of scientific management given by Taylor F. W. Taylor. Actually F. W. Taylor before introduced this principle to the world he himself worked in the steel company he was working work in the steel company in many years and experimented and analyzed all the thing and finally he given a five principles of management there is a science not rule of thumb harmony not discord mental revolution cooperation not individualism development of each and every person to his order greatest efficiency and prosperity so we are going to see one by one the first one is a science not rule of thumb so here taylor mentioned not rule of thumb so what is the rule of thumb we should understand what is rule of thumb so rule of thumb means manager himself taking a decision so without analyze the manager take any decision it's called a rule of thumb so what is the rule of thumb the manager take any decision without analyze if suppose he take any decision uh, actually manager his own experience he take any decision means that is a rule of thumb Actually, Taylor strictly not accept this method before take any decision or even a small work should be analyzed and it should be proved scientifically then only take any decision. So through this Taylor mentioned if you want to take any decision 
you should be analyzed and should be proved scientifically so that is your science so this is your science not rule of thumb i think you understood so the manager take any decision should be analyzed and it should be proved scientifically there is a science so not rule of thumb means the manager himself suppose take any decision without analyze it's a called a rule of thumb and second principle harmony not disorder so here management and workers this is a management group and this is a workers so actually harmony means feel or good relations with so according to this principle between the workers and management should be should have a good relationship that is a harmony should have a harmony so if you have any conflict between the management and workers so conflict means uh, any problem Con conflict means any problem so between the management and worker if you have any problem so any conflict it's not benefit for the management or workers there no benefit for them there is no benefit for them so both workers and management should realize important of each others that is a harmony not discorder so this principle requires that there should be perfect understanding perfect understanding between the workers and management so this is a harmony not discorder and next principle mental revolution so revolution means changes so in this principle the techniques of mental revolution involve a change in the attitude of workers and management towards each other see here actually workers work for the salary they not they always not work for the increase the organization profit so that is a, their attitude so according to this so workers always work for the salary they not work for the increasing the profit of the organization at the same time management also they not ready to share their profit with the workers so this attitude should be changed that is a mental revolution the workers give best efforts to the organization for increase their profit so this uh, uh, and the second thing the management ready to share their profit profit means not a whole profit surplus profit the management ready to share their surplus profit to the workers that is a mental revolution and next one cooperation not individualism cooperation not individualism this principle is an extension of harmony not discorder this principle is on extension of harmony not discorder so according to this principle between the management and worker should have a mutual cooperation and good relationship so in this principle also management and worker should realize the important of each others so here suppose management want to take any decision it should be consider the worker they also part of the management that is the first point the management want to take any decision uh, he should be the management should be consider workers also part of the management and workers also not go for any strike or unnecessary demand from the management that is a second point okay so two point here they mentioned suppose the management want to take any decision they should be consider worker also part of the management and the worker should not go for any strike or unnecessary demand from the management this is a cooperation not individualism and next principle development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity so in this principle efficiency of any organization also depends on the skills and capability of its employee to great extent if organization appoint a skilled and capability person so that organization will work efficiently so it's a great strength of the organization 
so when management select a employee should be selected with the scientific method the employee should have physical mental and intellectual capability so the employee should have physical mental and intellectual capability so you, management have efficient employee they can achieve more production and through that they can achieve the uh, high profit so these are the five principles of the scientific management i hope you understand after hearing this video kindly read it and after that again you read hear this video you can understand easily so next video we can see the next topic thank you students